What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about adjusting your suspension and ride height for the UT6, the UT10, and the UT10 crew. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to do it on the UT6, but the process is the same for all three vehicles. When you purchase your brand new Segway side-by-side, -side, there's gonna be a little toolkit that it comes with that you'll find in the glove box. Inside that glove box, you'll find a spanner wrench just like this. In order to adjust the ride height on the UT6 10 or 10 crew, what you need to do is head to the bottom of the shock here on the preload collar. You're gonna find little grooves in that where this spanner wrench is gonna fit into. You'll have five settings that you can choose from. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I need to adjust my ride height? Why would I need to adjust my suspension? One of the main reasons you might wanna do it is if you have a lot of weight in the rear of the vehicle and it's sagging too low. You can adjust the preload to get it back to a normal ride height. The other thing you can do is if the ride feels too soft or too stiff, you can adjust the preload to make up for that difference. All right, so depending on if you wanna adjust the front or the rear suspension, first thing you gotta do is jack up the underbody of the vehicle. At the bottom of the shock body, you're gonna be able to find the preload collar. In order to adjust the preload, you'll take your spanner wrench, you lock it into one of the grooves on the preload collar, and you can pick from one of five positions. In order to stiffen your preload, you have to rotate the preload collar clockwise. You will not be able to rotate the preload collar counterclockwise to soften the preload. So if you miss the correct position, you're gonna to have to make a full rotation of the preload collar to get back to the correct spot. 